Hello, hello. We are back with the next episode of Baldur's Gate. Um, if I remember correctly, I defeated the tier, tier soldiers last time, I think that's where we left off. Um, I mean, they're dead, so I think that's where we left off. <laughs> it's been a week since I recorded. So, like I said, I've got to do this in chunks when I have time. And work has been so insane. Um, the whole the whole year has been insane for work. So like recording during the week uh, hasn't been happening because in the evenings I'm doing other things. But let's see. So I was thinking, I think we're really close to leveling up. We're so close. So I'm thinking we go down towards, did I ever, I got the tea house. I don't think I ever went into the tea house. Um, but what I was thinking of doing... And I don't know what happens if I just attack the sheep. But I'm thinking... I bet they don't actually change back to normal. Uh, I forgot that I didn't have the swamp changed. I was going to say I could go ahead and attack these guys and get rid of them. They're, um, oh yeah, you guys don't know, because if you're watching this for the first time anyways, as some of you might know, uh, these aren't actually sheep. They're very much, like, I don't know what they are. They're, like, little goblin-type characters. They're not goblins. I can't remember what race they are. Uh, but they're not friendly. So let's go over here. I don't remember what, I know this well does Fresh, something. sweet-smelling water gurgles gently below. A warm rush of power flows through you. You feel stronger, faster, better. Yeah, I don't remember exactly what that did. Hit point maximum increased. Can everyone drink from it? Hold on. I know a starian wouldn't want to drink from this, Fresh, but sweet smelling water gurgles gently below. Ooh. A warm rush of power flows through you. He looks so happy. Faster. <laughs> better. He's like, oh yeah. At least things have stayed interesting. Hit points increased by 10 to long rest. Maximum hit points. That's pretty darn cool. How did he was he did he lose 3 HP somewhere? I don't know if there's a negative to drinking this though. It kinda concerns me if I have everyone drink from this in case something bad happens. Thing. Pull yourself together. Maybe I just risk it. Risk it. <laughs> Fresh, sweet smelling water gurgles gently. I'm just gonna... A warm rush of power flows through you. You feel stronger. Lysel's hair is doing weird things. Fresh, sweet smelling water gurgles. A warm rush of power flows through you. You feel stronger. Oh yeah, we all feel good. Okay, we're gonna prompt this battle because this first one shouldn't be too bad. Um. Yes, I was debating if I should use a different character. Sorry, I was like, I was debating splitting the group up because it'd be easier. Yes. Um, actually, no, because I want... Yeah, I want to keep everyone with me. Um. <laughs> I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. One more bite and this pie is going to come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. Oh, if it isn't my hero. You took ages. Come in, come in. Feel free to relax yourself and have a cuppa. Hmm? Gods, grant me patience. Eat up, Marina. I won't say it again. Hmm. 
Do you treat all your guests so poorly? Hmm. You're quite right, Petal. Forgive me if I get a bit sharp. My work wears something awful on me. You see, I help people from all over Faerun. And you, Petal, well, you need a lot of help. That regular swimming in your brain juice is a bit of an inconvenience, isn't it? I don't think I've ever engaged in trying to get her to let me take it out. Like, because she'll offer to try to remove it. And I don't know what actually happens if you do. But I'm not going to find out today. Um, Something isn't right. That woman, why is she with you? Busy bodies are not appreciated around here. Let's not make trouble for some stranger. We have our own problems. I'll talk about your regular. And that's it. Last warning. Hmm. No, this woman is clearly in trouble. You want to play the hero so badly? Fine. Let's make this interesting. I know Astarian disapproves in this instance, which is why I've waited. Well, that and leveling up, of course. Like, one disapproval won't hurt anything, though. Uh, the transformation volume was just gone, I think. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't there. There's what we should have seen earlier, had we passed an insight check. Um... You'll see in a minute. It doesn't really look like anything right now. Game's going weird. There we go. It's a bog. Okay. So fun fact. See how my line is going around right here? In case you guys are wondering. That means Ethel is right here. So, let's see if we can get her revealed here. Yes! Okay. I'm gonna step outside. Um, oh, who do I have go in after her? Let's have Carla go in. And Karlak, I need you to Well first rage. Get angry. Aw oh, yeah. Okay, and then I'm gonna need you to shoot an arrow because that's all we can do at the moment. Um let's have a have they approached us? There they are. They have approached. I think a Starian might be able to crouch here. Yeah, and then... Perfect. Good job, Astarian. And then Lazel. You're not going to quite make it over to them. Oh, I knew it was going to miss. I, I sensed it in my bones. Ugh. These guys can get mean because they'll attack like eight times. I brought Astra out, so if they group uh, what does she do oh ah! <laughs> that's what she did bye bye lovelies ah you came right to me exactly what I wanted amazing let's do it again um, ba -ba -ba 
ba ba I don't know if I want distracting strike. But yeah, we do. What? He's distracted. How could it miss? Um. If I got Astra close, which would be dangerous. We even get a Lazel close. Hold on. She doesn't have disengage though. If I did that, I've got this. Incoming. Okay, I just won't worry about it at the moment. I, this. I wanted a Starion to be able to use his. I have an idea. Will this allow me to still do it? Heck yeah! So as long as like a Starion is near someone, he can use the sneak attack. Not really sure how that works or why that works, but that's how that works. Let's see. Oh, I didn't kill him. Is he 1 HP? Okay, I was gonna be so angry if it was 1 HP. <laughs> Oh, I would have been like, no, every time. See, that's why they're dangerous. I'm pretty sure it causes bleeding. Yep, they're very much a bleeding type crew. Uh-oh, that's very bad. Yeah. Please do like 14. Nope, six. Okay, that's all we get. Uh, let's have Karlak drop Reckless Attack on him. Did that miss? I looked down for like a half a second and didn't see. Did it miss? No, good. Oh wait, Astarian doesn't have it. Wait, we lost our boost! Was it because it was the hag? Maybe. Excuse me, that was supposed to hit you. Thank you. It's a shame that didn't kill you. Oh. Oh shoot, there's another one? Miscalculate, I was thinking there was only four. Ugh. I'm not too worried still. Only 55. Harlock? Put him up. Can I get Lazel out of there or do I have to I don't remember. I might have to actually hit the one causing the spell. Let's have some okay, Starry and Gadastra. The danger is clear. Hmm. Get over here. Haha. -ha. Astra, do you have any potions on you or are they with Lazel? They're on you. Perfect. I probably should, that's the window I wanted. I probably should have a cleric with me. The ironic thing is, oh, I must've lost my advantage of sneak. Can I get Lazel over there? Okay, Lazel. 
No, 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 no. I didn't hit anything. It literally attacked the ground. We love to see it. Nothing important is ever easy. Don't waste a step. Why do I have no spell slots? Have we not rested? <laughs> oh, we did the tear fight and I don't think I must have only short rest. Oh, that's an unfortunate discovery. Um, items, baby potion, baby potion. There we go. If a starting can land this hit, perfect. Heck yeah. How much health does he have now? Nothing will stand in my way. Astra, let's drop another magic missile. Swift and lethal. And then we're gonna actually have Cancel in turn. Astarian. Please bite and kill. Amazing. Yeah, we have no short rest. Oh man, that would have been scary. Uh, let's see what happens if I. I did miss that face, you know. Okay, I can't remember if they'll say anything about Marina. Speak. Oh jeez. Copper for your thoughts. Oh yeah, she'll talk to you now about the stuff. Here you go. The year, ten air. The place, a sleepy little town called Baldur's Gate. Our hero, Karlak, a knock-kneed delinquent from the outer city, with everything to give and nothing to lose. I was a kid looking for a way to fill my days and make some cash when I fell into the wrong crowd. Worked for a guy I respected. A lot. Turns out the feeling wasn't mutual. Through the jigs and the reels, he made a deal with Zariel behind my back. You know Zariel, right? Archdevil of Avernus. She put this thing in my chest and set me to work. Well, to war. I learned quick how to stay alive. And the engine served me when it came to killing devils. Ten years of that. The stories I could tell. You mentioned a boss who gave you up to Zariel. Who was it? Guy named Gortash. Politician. Inventor. One of these wheeler dealer types who seems to have a finger in every pie. I guess I was naive to think everything he got up to was above board. What did I know? I saw a job. A good job. With people I liked. Doing work I was good at. Sometimes I'm jealous of that girl. Oh, to feel so invincible again. Dang, I feel you, Carlock. <laughs> um, it sounds like all we need to fix your engine is to find some infernal iron. Let's hope Damon is as good as he seems. Once my engine's handled, I can focus on more important matters. Tadpoles, cults, frosty pints. Well, this isn't where I thought I'd end up. How about you? <laughs> Funny you should ask. I was just thinking about what would have become of us without that Nautiloid. I mean, I know where I'd be. Trapped in Avernus still, with the Blade of Frontiers on my tail. But what about you? Hmm. I, I, I think my home is in Baldur's Gate. Perhaps I will find something to belong there. Oh man, lucky you. That's the dream. Maybe when this is all done, you can show me where you came from. My family home's long gone, but 
I'll show you my favorite chow hall in the city, if it's still standing. Okay. We are going to loot the place and then long rest. Okay, do these red caps have anything of importance? I don't know if there's actually a use for bloodstones. I love how it's like you're stealing. Do, 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 do. Sorry guys, I'm not reading the books. <laughs> oh, I, I think I've mentioned that. It takes too long. We'd be here all day. Sorry, I was looking. It looks like a crack in the wall. And I was curious. I don't know if that tart would be considered food. I'm taking it. Whoa, potion of greater healing. We want that. I get that potion of animal speaking. We'll read the book. Click, click. Something about Shar worship. Oh, a potion of healing. I don't want the cleaver. Take all. Oh, potion of greater healing on the floor. Potion of healing. I think I mentioned this in a previous playthrough, but there's actually like this potion and I, it, it's a poison and it looks like potion. And I was in a fight and I couldn't figure out, let me go to my items. I don't know if I, Okay, these are both potions, but it was like this, right? Where I had two potions separated. And I was like, oh snap, I need, Astari needed a potion. So I threw it at him. Oh, good thing I'm going to be long resting soon. And anyway, so I threw the potion at him to heal him. Turns out I threw the poison bottle at him and poisoned him. <laughs> Oh, luckily it was a normal run and we weren't in like a- it was a friend and I playing and we weren't in like a terrible fight, so. Poor Astarian. Oh! Camera. If you're ever playing and your camera- I may have mentioned this before too, I don't- I don't know what I've mentioned at this point. Bear with me. Uh, but if you're playing and your camera goes like wonky, like let's say you're going over here or something, you're looking around, getting a good view, like ooh or something, I don't know and the uh, camera just decides not to cooperate you can hit the home button on your keyboard if you have it like if you have a larger keyboard and it will reset the the keys for you or reset your camera for you so if i go over here and then i hit home boom we're back beautiful isn't it is it rotten or is it just A letter from M. Okay. I think... Let me look at my... You might get experience for going in here. Oh, and page up and page down zooms in if you're like me and you have a crappy mouse wheel. There's not a fight in here, but once I enter this place, I can't save. So I'll have to go back up. We're so close. Okay. What we may end up doing is there, there's a fight in here before Ethel. So we may do that fight, then come back and do another fight elsewhere because I want to long rest before Ethel. But we might be able to short rest in between fights, and that would be good. Like, short rest in between two different unrelated fights. Um, might be able to talk to some people. Hey, soldier. 
I am drawn to violence, to blood. Obsessions could become compulsions. Well, look, you've said it right out loud. That takes guts. The guts you'll need to change. Or at least make sure you're channeled in the right direction. I've got enough enemies who could do with a good bloodletting, you know? Well, that's a good point, Carlac. Hello, Astarian. Yes, darling? Nothing. Will might actually. I haven't talked to Will in forever. Um. Welcome to the League of the Lone Eye, my friend. Not to minimize the pain <laughs> of Volo's poking and prodding, but I promise you'll be used to the prosthesis in no time. Besides, I find it gives one an air of mystique. No one's more intriguing than a woman with one eye. Hmm. Oh, uh, what was it like being the son of a Grand Duke? Not so enchanting as you'd think. The poor tears, the Caldwells, they were the blue bloods hosting the fancy balls and drinking from gold goblets. Father's the son of a blacksmith, born with barely a coin in the coffers. He made a name for himself among the flaming fist, brave as Balderan, stubborn as a deep rofe, daring, outspoken, but hardly posh. <laughs> I spent more time dueling with father than I did rubbing elbows with lords. Not to say I didn't develop a taste for good wine and the talent for courtly dance. Courtly dance? I'd love to see a demonstration. <clears throat> it's been a badger's age since I've twinkled my toes. A drunk ogre could put on a better show. You dance like a drunk ogre? That sounds hilarious. Count me in. <laughs> well, give it some time. Develop a bond and maybe I'll show you a move or two. I promise, Clumsy Oaf is well within my repertoire. Okay, I, won't, I, I don't like talking to Will, but that was some of the funniest stuff I've heard him say. I don't think I've ever um, prompted those. Oh, goodness. Uh, tell me, Will, how did you become, how did you come to be the Blade of Frontiers? My father once said, one does not pursue a champion's life. One merely answers its call. So it was for me. After my exile, I was hunting near the Cloakwood. I heard a child crying out from a lone farmstead. I found him in the fields flanked by goblins. His mother's corpse bled into the soil next to him. I don't remember much of the battle, but I remember drying the boy's tears after. Um, whatever became of the boy, I wonder? I left him with his uncles. Five years on and he's flourishing. If only every child was so lucky. I mourn the ones I could never save, whose cries I never heard. In the boy's tears, I finally saw the suffering wrought by the villains of the wild. The frontiers demanded a blade, and so I heeded. Um, is that how you lost your eye in the goblin battle? It was an even bloodier day, and a stronger foe. It's made from pure bloodstone, carved from the Galena Mountains just north of the Moon Sea. A reminder that sometimes blood must be shed and sacrifices must be made. Ah, but that story is reserved for lifetime friends and calmer days. How does it feel to be a devil? It's said that anyone who bathes in the river of blood emerges as one born anew. It's a lot like that, I imagine. I feel the weight of these horns on my head curling upwards like a mammoth's tusks. I feel these ridges snaking down my neck, not to mention a few bumps and prongs in unmentionable places. But I haven't seen my reflection just yet. Be my mirror. What do you see? Um... 
quite the handsome devil, if I do say so. <laughs> I can't tell if you're being silly or serious. I'll accept the flattery either way. I suppose I'll grow used to the new me. Horns and all. The people will see a curiosity. Maybe even a beast hungry for their souls. But I will slay their monsters. Keep them safe. And one day they will see the Blade of Frontiers again. <clears throat> um, what do you think of the illithid potential the Dream Visitor spoke of? I think that unknowable powers come with unknowable consequences. I can't say I'm not curious. But once you've taken a lithid by the talon, there's no telling how deep into the abyss it might drag you. Mm, okay, let's move on. All right. Anything more we should discuss? He sounds so mean about like, ugh. Um, we'll talk to you more later. Does Gail have anything? I don't remember. I do enjoy our conversations. What do you need? Uh, well, apparently I don't need anything. Sorry. Um, hi, Carlac. <laughs> Let's check on Shadowheart. I don't think I've talked to her much, so you guys haven't got to see much about her. I don't think there'll be any more trouble between Lazelle and I, if you were wondering. We can all sleep easier now. Well, apart from all the rest. Um, that's good. I'd rather keep things friendly between all of us. You have an interesting definition of friendly, but yes. Uh, something strange happened. That artifact you carried seemed to just come to me. I know. I felt it. You felt what? Fly away yes. from you? No. I don't know. The artifact seems to have powers, and a will of its own. It protects us. I don't know how or why, but I'm glad. I felt it go from me to you. You need its help, just as it needs us. It's still just a box, after all. I suppose you'll want it back? Might not be possible. It's stubborn that way. Prone to lashing out. Keep it for now. We can all help to protect it. I wonder why it kicked me out of the conversation. Something the matter. Wait. <sighs> it hurts. Uh, was it as painful as it looked? Worse. But it passes quickly. Usually. The wound on my hand. Never quite heals, and sometimes it causes terrible pain to rip through me. It's my burden, though, from Lady Shah. I can feel her influence somehow. Um, what causes it to hurt you? It's difficult to say. Sometimes I wonder if it's supposed to be guiding me, punishing me, testing me. Perhaps it's none of those. Perhaps it's completely random. I'd like to hope there's more to it than that. Some meaning that Lady Shah will reveal to me when the time is right. Until then, all I can do is endure. Uh, why would Shah subject you to such a thing? I cannot say. Not with what I can recall. But even then, it would not be for me to question her will. Lady Shah has her reasons. Mm, how can you manage living with such a thing? It's less difficult than you might imagine, when you can't remember life without it. Pain is sacred to followers of Lady Shah. Pain will give way to loss and then to the peace of her eternal darkness. You can tolerate a great deal of suffering so long as it has meaning. 
Mm, turn to other matters. Uh, whoa, I don't want to hit join me. I almost hit join me, you guys. Okay, let's long rest. Here we go. Auto select. Very towards the sound. Uh, called with them. I wonder if I can pass this check. Oh good, it's only a five. Oh, critical success, lovely. Scratch's tail wags furiously. These two have become firm friends. Pet Scratch. Pet the Albear Cub. Oh yeah, look at all those approvals. Observe the pair for signs Nothing. of injury. Both animals look fine, watching you expectantly. So, if you have speak with animals, you actually find out that the owlbear had a nightmare. Um, and Scratch was with the owlbear um, when they realized, like, watching over them after they have the nightmare. It's very cute. Okay, we're gonna leave camp and probably do that fight. You are as thick as they come, sweetness. This is my personal playhouse, and you don't have an invite. Get out! Tell me where Marina is. This wriggler eating your brain already. Leave. Oh, you'll end up in tonight's stew. We'll go nicely with Marina. She's already marinating. Ah. What is this place? So you can talk to him. Basically, there's like curses happening here. So these are all people who made a deal with Ethel. And Ethel technically gave them what they wanted, but not in the way they wanted. Wish. Oh. You feel crushing waves of fear as the presence within the door recoils. It can't let people through. Not again. No time to chat. I'm here to kill the hag. The scene appears in your mind. Two paladins and a cleric marching through the door, shrouded in the glow of the divine. Weapons brandished, they charge into the hag's lair. Screams of terror pierce the air. You let them in? Naughty. That's a decade for each. You're mine for 30 more years, Petal. That hag will be the least of your problems if you don't open up. It all twitches, but stays firm. I know you can just walk through, by the way. You can literally just walk through this door. If I kill the hag, you'll be free. You see the hag. She walks through the door, its form shimmering. The lightest touch of hope brushes your mind as the presence within retreats. Um, 
okay, we're gonna group sneak. The reason we're group sneaking is because I want to get as far as I can into here before that fight starts. Because it's kind of harder to... There we go. Um, the fact that everyone is still sneaking is quite funny. Oh, because the fight started, I can... Are you serious? It missed? Oh, ho, ho, why is Dorian? With every breath, a purpose. I've never saved these guys, so I'm gonna try something this fight. Where if I use... non-lethal damage and then kill the hag or take their mask i think theoretically oh wait 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 oh okay i was like so much for non-lethal passives Okay, she's knocked out. I don't know what this does. Oh, it killed her because I haven't killed the hag. I forgot. Whoops. Okay, well, we can't do that. So, wait a minute. If I don't kill them, though, and I don't long rest... Oh, well, I think I might have to kill them, actually. If this was... Because if I have to long rest after this... Or do they stay knocked out even after a long rest? I think they'll disappear. Oh well. I'll figure it out. Oh shoot, I used your... Rage, Karlak, rage. I'll just kill them. I'll I'll try not killing them in another run. I'm very curious. I don't think if I on the move. I don't think I can do anything to her really. So the masks are cursing them, if you haven't figured that out yet. So they're, that's what the throw, saving throw is. Oh yeah, we leveled up. Beautiful. We love to see it, you guys. We love to see it. I mean, she's turned around, so... Perfect. Quickly. Oh wait, he's not invisible anymore? That's weird. I wasn't expecting that. Can I shoot an arrow at him? I know I'd have disadvantage. Yeah, I figured I'd have a low chance of missing. My path oh, you shouldn't have touched that. Oh. Triple A creature's jumping distance. Yeah, I thought that would let me jump up here. Oh, he went around the corner. Uh, 
and then Ashtra over here missing. Can I actually get to him now? Because I'm gonna jump. I can. I don't know though. Aha, he can't see me. Don't ask me how he can't see me when I'm right next to him, but... Oh, I'm frightened. Perfect. And we all leveled up. Huzzah. I'm sorry I had to kill you. If I long rested though, I don't know if they'll wake up, you know? <laughs> Organized by weight. Send all that to Karlak. And then let's level these guys up. Let's see. Gain a spell. What kind of spells have I been doing? I don't remember. Hold on. Can I see my feats in here? I've only gotten one feat, and I think I did performance to increase my my skill checks. Hold on. Oh, wrong, wrong menu. Uh, da, 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 da. Character sheet. Look at all my tags. <laughs> uh, I don't remember how to look. I mean, these have a lot of... So I probably did performance. I was just debating if I was like trying to accrue a certain type of spell. It doesn't look like I've really tried to do that yet. Because uh, you can get a feat for sorcerers, wizard. I mean, anybody can take the feat, but... And it'll let you have, like, allow... Oh, yeah, I can get Fireball at level uh, 5, I guess? Because I'm a sorcerer. We love to see it. Um, or no, I'm a, a draconic sorcerer. Sorry. Misspoke. What is this? Heck yeah, nice. And then replace spell. So change... I am terrible about using the mage armor. I really need to use it more. Mm. Confirm that we don't want that. And we want... Give me my fireball. Oh, do I get fireball automatically? Maybe I just leave it then. Shatter's good though. I prefer Shatter over Ice Knife or whatever it is. I feel like I have a better hit rate with Shatter. Lightning Bolt would be good too. But that's such a high spell. That's okay. To have the option between lightning and fireball would probably be really good. Like, but shatter's nice. Oh gosh, I can't decide you guys. Do, 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 do. Hmm. 
Hmm, I think I'll let her keep Fireball and I'll do Shatter for now. Oh wait, confirm, accept. I don't remember if it did this when I first played where it cycled through the characters like this or if that was added later. What did I get? Is uncanny dodge. I should respec a Starion so then at level 5 he actually multi-classes instead of what I just did. You can make an extra uh, additional free extra attack after an unarmed or weapon attack. Ooh. Extra attack feature for more than one class. They don't add together. Oh, if you okay, they don't gain it. You don't get it. Okay. Because I know a lot of people will do like rogue Astarian, like what we've done, the the rogue class we've done. I don't remember which one it is, and then they'll multi class into a monk. Um, I think I like that. Yeah. Do 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 I'm reading them. This would be good. I tried this in another run, but I didn't have that many like I think I ran with like um uh, the Tav, Gale, and Astarian. And like they were never near Carlax, so this ended up being useless for me. Because two of us were magic users and then a starry and I kind of like had him doing his own thing. Amazing. Okay. Perfect. And I think this is a great place to stop now that we've leveled up. Look at us. We are level level five. I don't know why I thought I was we were at level six, but that's okay. We are at level five and we're about to, well, we're not going to encounter the hag yet. We're probably going to dip and do the spider next time, if I remember. And then we'll go back and do the hag. Excuse me, I yawned. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Again, if you can drop the thumbs up and if you enjoyed it and want to subscribe, that's great too. Anyways, thank you so much and have a good day. Bye-bye.